everybody and welcome back to a brand new video I'm just going to show you a bit of a tutorial but I, it is kind of my go-to look at the minute with my hair being an in-between length it's something that I've been doing quite regularly um, it's if you watch YouTube quite a lot it's a bit like Zoella her hair at the minute so very very loosely curled and it's going to be I'm going to do a bit of a wave today so I've brushed it through I've put some heat protector on just going to keep this one out of the way for now just going to concentrate on one side at a time so I've got my tongue which is a Babyliss Pro um, I'm not going to use it as a tongue I'm going to use it as a wand so start at the front and the back however you feel confident grab a section of hair tongue pointing downwards wrap your hair around it leave it on some people leave it on for 10 seconds I wouldn't advise any longer than that especially on natural hair and then just leave it to cool so don't touch it don't pull it out just leave it to cool grab your next section similar do exactly the same a lot of people get really confused as to how to curl and I think they end up doing it too curly um, which is, is really easily done but a lot of hair will drop very quickly so if you have over curled your hair or you feel like oh gosh it's really curly your hair will drop gradually over the day anyway as you start to put your fingers through it it's windy all those sort of things will will make you curl different throughout the day so don't worry too much so we've got a big bit now at the back so I'll just split that into two again tongue facing down one on the side so if you've noticed I've curled them all going away from my face all in the same direction so just let them cool so what I tend to do is just put them behind my back now I've got kind of my bigger section as I've got quite a steep part in but I'm still going to do the same again so Tongue pointing down and away from the face. I'm not going to do it too high up close to the face. As you can see, I've left about a three inch gap just because I don't want it really curly around my face. And I've got a bit of a fringe section that will curl up anyway. Next section. Don't be afraid to take bigger sections. It really is trial and error, and it's it's however you like your curl to look. So if you want it more of a tight wave, then do smaller sections. If you want a really loose, undone wave, take bigger sections, as I'm doing here. Because my hair isn't that long. I don't want it to go too curly and lose all the length. Wait for some time to pass just so the hair cools. You don't want to be brushing it out while the hair's still hot. A lot of people will like it as it is or will just run their fingers through it, but I'm going to finish it with a brush. So I'm just going to use a paddle brush, any sort of flat bristle brush that you've got at home just to comb it through. So give it a couple of minutes. So now it's all cooled down. What I'm going to do is literally brush out the curl all the way to the bottom literally going to brush it out and then tease it back up as you can see there so it's really brushed that curl all the way out And 
however you want to finish it. I like to just break it up slightly with my fingers. And then a hairspray if you want to, but it's a really nice day today, so I'm not going to hairspray it because I want it to just naturally fall out. I like it when it's really loose. Um, but for me, that literally took a couple of minutes, and it's really nice style. And on the second day after you've curled, it makes really great for an updo. I hope you like this video. If you're going to try it, please do tag us on Instagram, Confessions of a Hairdresser 28 tag us in there so that we can see them and we'll repost them on our pages also give this channel a subscribe for a brand new video every week and remember to like this video and give it a thumbs up